the wine is ultimately his philosophy, and it has the nations drunken, especially you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you drunken down his juice to the point where, hey, you, you don't even consider the, uh, the smallest thing. Yeah, the wickedness is natural. Yeah, yeah. It's completely just natural to be off. It's unnatural to actually follow the uh, scriptures here. If you feel like you got a tie to just eat lamb and, and, yeah. and not cut your beard off. Right, 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 right. You, you know? read, nigga, do you read? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you eat like a rabbit, you can't. Right, 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 right. You, you know? read, <laughs> nigga, do you read? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, you say. the wine is ultimately his philosophy, and it has the nations drunken. Especially you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you've drunken down his juice to the point where, hey, you you don't even consider the, uh, the smallest thing. Yeah, the wickedness is natural. Yeah, yeah. It's completely just natural to be off. It's all right, Shalom. I want to start off with giving all praises on our glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Harakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the whole for elect. Hey man, shalom to the elders and the brothers that did a beautiful lesson down there in uh, Tampa. You know, the, the elders from Dallas went down there. She see on the screen, Elder Yashawan, beloved Elber, Elder Yashawama, and beloved Elder Ariala. You know, um, <clears throat> and all the brothers down there that did a beautiful count. And it was, you know, there's something that caught my, you know, my attention. You know, to where is, you know, I wanted to land back on it because this is the truth. You know, how. Elder Yashawamba said how our people is drunken with the wine of Esau Edom, which, you know, goes into his philosophies, okay? And then Elder Ariala mentioned how, you know, it's, it's, it's to the point right now that it's natural for our people to be off, you know? Or it's natural for our, our people to, to, you know, commit wickedness, commit iniquity, you know? These things, they delight in. Okay, and I made a statement last uh, yesterday at camp when I spoke on our people being degenerates, our people being uh, uh, that draw silver that got to be burned, our people being brute beast. Okay, how our people actually carry themselves as brute beast. Now, I want to get into scriptures. I want to go into uh, let's, let's to the book of Second Peter. Second Peter chapter two verse, and let's start at verse. You know what? Let's start at verse four. It says, "For the, for the Most High Spirit, not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell, and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved into judgment." And right now, we are those angels that are cast down. You know, have, that have been cast down and delivered into those chains of darkness. Because right now, the condition that we're in, this place is. It's hell, man. You know, and we have been delivered into these chains of darkness, which are these vital, these these bodies, okay? These bodies that are uh, subject to sin, you know? Verse 5, and spare not the old world, but save no with the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the, uh, of the ungodly, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that should should live uh, make an example to those that after should live ungodly so Sodom and Gomorrah was an example of how not to be yet America Babylon the Great which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt follows the ways okay follows the ways of Sodom and Gomorrah times a hundred okay we know it's, it's to the point where our people declare their sin as Sodom you know they don't they don't mind if they disobey the word the words of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai okay and at the same time, try to admit that they are they are so-called Christians, you know, with this mindset as come as your like those, those, those uh, brute beast uh, women, uh, uh, you know, speaking and coming up against Elder Manat Zakba and her brothers down there in South Carolina. Talking about come as your. And what did he say? Where is that in the Bible? And what did he get? No answer because you people don't have no answers. You just say shit. You, you say shit like, only God can judge me. Which, that's something Tupac came up with. Now, he said, that you can't find that in the scriptures neither. Okay? Or y'all y'all mentioned judge, a judge you not, or you be judged. And that's talking about being a hypocrite. 
So you people don't know what the hell you're talking about. You don't know the Bible. Okay? So you just need to listen and shut and S-T-H, you know? S-T-H, S-T-H, S-T-F-U. That's what you need to do. Right? Verse 7 says, And deliver just lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked, for that righteous man dwelling among them, and seeing and hearing vexes right." Vex his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. And it's the same thing that the men of the Lord are going through. Okay? We are completely vexed of the filthy conversation of the wicked and seeing and hearing, you know, their unlawful deeds that they delight in, like I said once before. So verse 9, it says, The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation and to reserve the unjust until the day of judgment to be punishment. And that punishment, and that's what you people are about to get. You are about to get punished horribly. Y'all are about to take the biggest L, and especially you so-called Christians. Y'all are about to take the, the biggest L in history, but yet you got the nerve to be proud. Verse 10, but chiefly them that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanness and despise government, presumptuous, they are self-willed, they are not afraid to speak evil, evil of dignities. Whereas angels, which are greater in power and might, bring not railing accusation against them before the Lord, but these as brute beasts, but these as slacky, but these as natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed, speak evil of the things that they understand not, and shall utterly perish in their own corruption. And the things that they speak of that they know not is the, the Holy Scriptures. Okay? They speak. They speak so down on the Holy Scriptures. They speak down on Yah, Bashim, Yahushah. They don't consider that they are doing evil. They come against the men of the Lord, the counsel of Yah, Bashim, Yahushah, which we are the, the voice of the Lord because the Lord speaks by the mouth of the prophets. They don't consider that they're doing these things. Okay, so what is going to happen? Uh, shall utterly perish in their own corruption and shall receive the reward of unrighteousness as they that count it pleasure to riot in the daytime. Spots they are spots they are in blemishes, sporting themselves with their own deceivings while they feast with you, having eyes full of adultery, and that can cease and that cannot cease from sin, beguiling unstable souls, and heart that have exercised with covetousness, practices, cursed children, which has forsaken the right way and are gone astray, following the way of Balaam, the son of Basor, who loved the wages of unrighteousness. Okay, and this is what our people love. This is what our, you know, uh, they, they love to, to partake in unrighteousness. All right, because when we speak about righteousness, when we come out of the scriptures, what do they do? What do they do? They denounce it. Okay, what do the scriptures say about people that uh, do, do this? When they get this, Proverbs chapter 13, verse 13, it says, Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. All right, so there's a punishment about to come upon you people. Little do you know. While y'all got this proud spirit, just, you, see, y'all got the same spirit of y'all father the devil. So how the scripture says, ye are of your father the devil, because the America, Babylon, and great, you know, this this place, the people in this place, the chief rulers in this place have the mindset of, we can't get taken out of power. We can't be destroyed, you know? They, could, they think their generation is going to continue forever and ever. This is just the same way with Jake. Jake think they're going to run around and continue on their wickedness and not never be judged. This is the scripture is also going to, it says, uh, since, uh, um, let's get it real fast. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 11, it says, Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore... The heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. So since Jake don't be getting judged when they do these things, they feel like they can continue in doing them. Okay? And the Lord, the Lord is very merciful. Okay? But there's a time where he said, you know what? Your mercy or your grace period, it's up. Now I'm about to tax your ass. Okay? And you think y'all can pacify after the Lord, you know, uh, for your sins that you're doing. But you people are in for a rude awakening. Best believe it. All right, so I wanted to get this real fast and close out. Um, yeah, so this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 22, verse 18. Let's go to read. It says, uh, 
verse, sorry, right, right, verse 18, Yub says, Son of man, the house of Israel is to me become dross. All they are brass and tin and iron and lead in the midst of the furnace. They are even the dross of silver. Therefore, thus said the Lord God, behold, or Lord God, because you are become dross and become become dross. Behold, therefore, I will gather you in the midst of Jerusalem as they gather, gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin into the midst of the furnace to blow fire upon it to melt it. So will I gather you in mine anger and in my fury and I will leave you there and melt you. Yea, I will gather you. So like it says and uh, melt you. So I will gather you in my anger and my fury, uh, fury and leave you there and melt you. Yea, I will gather you and blow upon you in the fire of my wrath. And you shall be melted in the midst of. As silver is melted in the midst of the furnace, so shall you be melted in the midst of. And you shall know that I, Yahweh, have poured out my fury upon you. And this is about to come upon you people. You people are about to get completely dissolved. Okay, y'all about to feel the wrath of Yahweh by Shemuel Shah because why? You don't want to return back into Yahweh by Shemuel Shah. You don't want to repent. You want to continue to be rebellious. Okay, and live your life as a brute beast as your father, the devil, taught you to be. As, as the scripture says, uh, the, um, uh, we'll get it. I am going to try to quote it. Proverbs 11 and 20. No, let's try 12. It says the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduces, seduces, seduces him. And you, you, Jake, y'all have been seduced by the wicked one, which is Esau, Edom. So guess what? When he gets destroyed, y'all going to have to partake in the same judgment as E, okay? I'm dealing with America, Babylon, and Gert being destroyed. You see? Y'all going to catch that same reckoning that he going to get. But the Lord is so beautiful and so merciful. Guess what? We'll see y'all on the kingdom. As the scriptures say, all Israel shall be saved. You know, so we'll see y'all in the kingdom again. This is how merciful the Lord is. But on this side, you're going to have to receive a, a punishment, you know, for your wickedness and for your disobedience once again. Shalom.